Hey there, welcome back. Maris here and today we have Mana Lords and we have the first patch that was released two days ago and I have been playing from the start so there are not everything so cool and nice so check the timestamps. I'm gonna look at the patch notes first but then I'm gonna show you how it translates in the real game so that is on other part of the video so you can skip there. And let's remove the image and start with the patch notes. As I said, no, I didn't. Yes, it's experimental branch. It's not fully released. It still counts as pre-release branch. But hey, the game is in early access, so it's not the final version anyway. So I don't know why in the testing, there is another testing level of the testing because of the testing. Anyways, uh, the goals, um, are listed that doesn't mean nothing of course we're gonna go down and this is where the cool stuff starts there's a new button players now can trade uh, use trading posts to deliver goods between regions but it's not as shiny as it sounds uh, without using barter or pack stations that's another thing um, you can basically disable if selling and purchasing will involve outside traders which means in between regions there's a same trade it's not a transport it's a trading in between so anyways uh what else there is a morning period added this is a minor inconvenience that doesn't change a lot but well when something someone in the family dies then they are mourning so that's that what else um yeah curbs carrying now looks a bit better then we have new models added that's just visual representation nothing more um now the big thing is the king's tax that's basically another painful thing to deal with uh, yes of course i'm playing on the hardest difficulty which is really painful on normal i believe it would be pretty decent if not minor inconvenience what to say uh yeah uh, the they are still checking what's the name of it but anyways you have to once in a year you have to pay a pretty hefty sum uh, if you're not trading uh, it's dramatic then some some reworks um, couldn't see anything well the game is early access there's a lot of things bugging out visual glitches is least of the things i'm concerned so that's the high end but i wanted to dig a little bit deeper this is the version change, so currently it will be what I'm playing is 7.960. And yeah, the main or major changes is the tax. That is that you have to pay out of your pocket, not from the um, pounds budget. So that's one thing to keep in mind. That means you need to enforce those um, taxes. Just FYI. Uh, what else? Yeah, of course, if you are in, in debt, uh, you will lose the King's favor. And yeah, King's army approaches. I never lost it so far, so I don't know how strong the troops are. But what else? Yeah, the global trade sounds good until the point where you uh, read this part. Regional wealth is still required to exchange goods between regions, so it's not a transfer it's literally like you have a region and you sell and purchase to the other region so you have to have money in both of them if you exchange the goods and as both of that money the region wealth pays tax it comes it basically is your money you operate with so it's unbelievably i don't understand why it's like that but i'm going to show you how it works anyways there's even more problem to that and there are ga uh, gameplay balances some some good things that's not always same food order is uh, taken uh, fertility is not anymore draining there's a lot of upgrades uh, for farming as far as i have tested yes i started also farming it works a little bit better i'd say um currently there are no problems that they are plowing twice uh the, the farms but most of the time they are sitting idle which is still a big problem but hey that's if you automate you still have to 
considered when the gr uh, crops are growing and in the winter there's absolutely nothing to do for them and yes you can now add two uh, ox for the farm what else was interesting um, let me check increase yeah this one this one this is the big one uh salt pit now stores five logs that are can immediately one after another be sown uh what the what happens now is they overcorrected and currently salt it is absolutely destroying all the logs because as five logs can be held when your ox brings it in the first one is already taken and basically it's instant disaster for for logs and what's pro more problematic you can set that salt it only starts uh sawing only after five ten logs are, are uh, in your town that number resets and basically is by default back to zero as anytime you save load reload the game which i had to do quite often because of the crashes and yeah. anyways so every time there's something going on or or i forgot to press that i want to fight for my town where enemy lord is claiming and i forgot and it, instantly without anything is just ah, taken which is ah, where's my latest um, auto save that absolutely disturbs and if you're wondering why i'm sitting on this point so long long, long time every region you will have to produce uh, wood in some kind of sense for upgrades for for uh, improvements for new house buildings and that's not a problem the problem is all the logs are destroyed all the trees are chopped down but the more important problem that those damn planks they are just filling all the resources and, and, and all your storage facilities because there is no limit you can't set any limits to for them to stop it's either you manually pause there's a one trick I, i'm gonna try to show you uh, what you can do to, to fight that anyways it's really a big problem uh now war balls should be ranged the attack is like three times higher so far i've well i had upgraded uh, um, our army but it seemed like they still do little to no damage at all of course i'm using uh, uh the, the tactics against it but anyways what else they absolutely destroyed the um, trading as i released the video how everything can be put on trading now trading is kind of ruined because the cost of trades are half of the price basically every second every new trade you open the cost increases exponentially so basically first few trade roads opening is not that expensive but then it goes just not it's i i can I, there's no other explanation how to do it and what else there was more yeah oversupplied oh yeah price now the prices are a little bit better it's not like you sell 100 um, firewood and then the price drops no the price stays pretty strongly i i even haven't seen that drop as much for one or two items probably but it's still you can still get rid of your items just selling them off and what else was done oh yeah the the another thing the tariff where you could unlock and not pay any tax so purchasing and selling was the same price no more valid there's always two prices you always will purchase and now it's quite expensive let's say to purchase things you purchase you make items out of them and sell for one or two coin increase tops so it's basically, yeah, they ruined everything I've been working on so far. And ale is uh, consum consumed way less. So far I can tell it's still a problem, but it can be handled if you can set any type of limits. This game has no limits, meaning, yes, despite the fact we just had Eurovision with no limits song, but you can not set limits for productions, you can not set limits for... Uh, trades you can't set limits for uh, storehouses there is just on or off is the stupidest thing ever but 
as long as you cannot do anything about it just just imagine what i everything i just told you um the price is expensive purchasing barley is quite not good so in one region you will make uh, beer ale and then you need to transfer to other uh, regions you cannot control how much is transferred currently i have this situation i'll show you where it's where it's produced it's being taken in such high quantities now all my ale is on in my second region and my main region is just lacking the, this, the problem is not the consumption currently the problem is that you cannot control nothing in this game which is a problem and there was something something in the minor i was wanted to check i would love to highlight here in in this huge list but no 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 i cannot there's a lot of things going on but not everything is worth mentioning of course um, minor things these are all minor things and updates but there was one sneaky little thing of course i can't find it anyways if i remember what was it i'm trying to try to try to come back but without that whole list i will put in the description you can always find and read it's it's a lot of reading material to be honest it's, it's not everything is so good uh, like important and I, there's a box I haven't, me personally, I haven't checked, but uh, yeah, you know, if you had some, some problems with blurry desktop icon, for example, now it's fixed. And cosmetic, of course, not paying attention a lot to that. Okay, enough rumbling. Let's get to business. So for the testing purposes, because a lot of changed in, in trades, I have three regions and I try to do things between them so this is the main region let me unpause it right main region when i create ale that i mentioned before where was that here i have three ale here and as i am i'm still uh trading with the pack station not trading center so let's check the other <clears throat> now here's where i produce metal and of course i have 320 ale way more than i need actually so as i said there is no way you can limit it just turn it off after a while but i want to i'll try to demonstrate if possible another problem we have the problem is this pack station idea is you take one item, for example, I have a growing apples here, and I exchange helmets that are there, so basically, and there's exchange rate, so there will two times more apples uh, brought than helmets because they are different value. So you see this thing that's happening here. This is what drives me nuts, crazy. You see, there is money involved. You have resource in one region, you send it to another region, exchanging, you're trying to get your outpost, your, you know, you can't grow, you can't take uh, these, these specialities uh, everywhere. So in one, I have farming, I have or orchids, I have apple. In another, can I switch? Of course I can't because, yeah, so the access. In another, I have everything around metal working and, and mining. So, you cannot exchange without taking, I'd say, losing money. Let me explain how, how, where it's proceeding. It's not even in this, I don't know if, how it was before, it's not even involving trading ball. That's another story where it's clear as day, you will pay for it. But when you start new region, yeah, I have buildings here, they are hidden in the forest. So when you start new region, you want to send them some help, some, you know, stones, some food, so they can thrive faster. The problem is to exchange goods, like absolutely simplest thing you can do is that the new region or something can start gathering firewood and use that 
as an item to exchange for food, for leather, for, for stone, for something, you know? The problem is, whenever this that exchange happens, that new region, I don't know, for whatever reason, loses money. In a new region, when you start with the highest, highest um, settler camp, if you didn't know, this is how it happens. When you start in a new region, you set, you can choose three different like basically you cost 250 500 and 700 so here i have a lot of resources money firewood everything there's still a lot of things and i need it's it's not enough and you start with i believe 100 coins 150 150 and then here you have i think 100 and here you have 50 coins in that region those 50 coins are gone with first exchange I had. And from that point, no exchange happens because there's no money in the region. So I don't know if it's a bug. Trust me, I, I went in the Discord. They have 833 entries for the bugs. So I was like, nah, this game is still, it needs cooking. Obviously, it's not ready yet. But the problem is you cannot exchange items this you set up allowing you to send and receive goods between the another region. 20 goods per trip. It might be true, but why why the hell there's money involved? Because money is you saw them the coins going up. And the money is gone, no more exchange. So that pack station is ruined. And if you're wondering, then yes, this trading station is similar story. Let me bring back, I have more connections between those two. I have two, three pack stations. This pack station. Oh yeah, all, all three are sending there. And also I had the idea to use this new transport system. The system is simple. You see, we have a trade. For example, I have Orchid here. Orchid actually is, uh, the apples are not great. And I have this, this button that I can click and it means everything I will export will not go to someone else, but to my other regions. My other regions can purchase it. From other hand, if my other regions are out of wealth, for example, the new region, they cannot purchase it because again, money is involved. Export price. It's, it's not even the biggest problem. Let me show you where the biggest problem lies. All right, I'm starting the new uh, region, whatever. I need to send goods. Okay, let's trade them. I can open up and put export. Export leather, because here I have good production. I tick the mark, which means I will sell only to my other regions. Sounds cool, so my other regions can start purchasing my cool leather, right? Of course wrong why because oh, i have purchased but this this is a cost it costs you have to open this this established trade route you know if you haven't paid attention where you can establish trade route but you can still trade at this side you can still import and export occasionally there'll there will be some merchant coming in anyways they will come in and they will purchase or, or, or sell it's all good, but when you have these items, okay, these are special items, but for example, the same leather, you have to open and pay for trade road for both regions. Let me try to paint a picture. Every time you purchase, ah, where is it? Every time you purchase uh, any roy the other the next one becomes more expensive let me demonstrate it oh i have your money so you see we, we have the cost 200 400 300 as soon as i purchase look how price went up all right i have grain then i need the floor the next item oh no we are in thousands we literally had 200 300 just moments ago okay fine let's purchase those hides and three, 
three open trade roads later, it's out of the out of the hand. I will open up the same. I'm not gonna. This is basically a ruined region. There is no way to basically recover from this. You see, and these numbers climb pretty fast. For example, you need charcoal. You have it in your main base, but you need to open this road in both of them which by the new patch it's super expensive it's ruined it's not gonna work so trading in exchanging items or sending items in this game from region to region is not there uh there was a line in in those patch notes like it was done intentionally because uh the main guy for the game wants and feels like every region must be a like like a separate you know kingdom which sounds good but you know this red color it means they all are mine mine why i can't grow an apple i don't know here and then send it here they both are my that this is my kingdom two towns nope this region has to sell it this region has to buy and both of them need to have a regional wealth so they can exchange goods which is absolutely ridiculous all right so the trading the transporting is ruined good part is when raiders destroy your house homes uh you can rebuild them there is no that that bug is fixed what else yeah archers are still weak uh, now we have, yeah, we have two potential um, livestock slots. So that's that's that. And yeah, if you're wondering, here where, yeah, here at the top. Sorry, yeah, I'm trying to show you. Uh, King will get, will take six point four thousand money from my treasury so it's not coming from from regional wealth uh, you can of course get that but but yes it's a quite big amount but also it happens 355 days in between each of those so you have a time to collect uh, your tax from different regions preferably more than one well i have two good regions where I have iron, I'm making every possible item and, 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 and selling. And basically every region now has to sell items. This, this, this. Both of them are ruined. They both are impacted. So currently the bonus of it, I don't think it's worth it. If you think ahead and only open the trade roads, you will absolutely use and a need like high price end game end items i'm talking about armor and, and and weapons then yeah you can open smartly and avoid this and purchasing and selling it's it's not worth it anymore so both of them are out of the balance and absolute garbage and this if you wondered this foreign supplier where you spend absolutely full price I, I haven't purchased it previously but let me tell you this is in garbage because you can put two such chart cards only in one of only one per item uh, sorry one per region they're not even working now no so what used to oh yeah what used to happen there they purchased one such firewood and it cost one regional wealth. So they automatically just magically put items. It might be cool thing for absolutely new start of the, the region because they generate basically from clean air bread. It costs, of course, you need to sell something. But otherwise, I don't know hunt something and you will be fine so yeah about about these changes oh yeah there was i remember the line the line there was 
or the, I, I read it out loud, but there was a point where this um, other lord will claim uh, slower, like not immediately blast things off. When you start, for example, on harder difficulty, you barely get your, your town together when enemy lord will be already all over the place. So with the new patch, almost nothing changes. The computer immediately takes over one by one, claiming one, like one month in between, next claim. The only difference is when all the free regions are taken and now basically another other lord is attacking you, that takes some time. It's I think it's a little bit more room for you to, to prepare for, for that. But otherwise, all the regions are gone. There's no change whatsoever in, in, in that regard. And the bugs, uh, yes, just mentioning a few. There's, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. But one of them was packing station. When I ordered to exchange goods for food, like seven out of ten times, when they reached other region granary, they just did a mix um like like dancing at the floor at the door and couldn't open like they tried to physically get in and there is no way to get in the granary and that means no nothing is being delivered uh that the person that the um, character is stuck no goods are brought back basically all the transport in between regions absolutely destroyed paralyzed so it is a bit problematic how in this game uh, the logic is... I understand what the guy wanted. I, I get a part of punishing just purchasing things, what I did. So uh, that's why in this time, this time I had to specialize in metals and specialize in food, right? Makes sense. That was the intent of the game. You need, you, you need to expand, you need to get things, but... The fact that you absolutely cannot exchange between the items of those two regions, despite the fact you are the lord of both of these regions, blows my mind. And yeah, okay, enough of rambling. The fact that I build from scratch on the hardest difficulty, extreme difficulty actually, everything from scratch just because there's a new patch shows how this game is like a toxic girlfriend. It absolutely suffocates you because of the bugs, improper things, absolutely no logic, bra uh, crashes down to desktop, everything like, everything screams, stay away, let it cook, when it's ready, come back. But you just can't, you just get in, you just know you need to make your absolutely amazing uh, vegetable fields, or, or, if you want to be a recordist, this black line yes it's a garden it's my my, my favorite garden i will end my my video with this if you're wondering is it possible to, to gather everything and, and just blow it no absolutely not there's no chance uh by the way the fun fact this is where the region ends no no this garden this garden goes in in two <laughs> two full regions Yes, and you know what? That person, they have to come to the toilet at other region. That's how cruel I am. Because if the game punishes me, I'm punishing the game. At least the game character. Anyways, uh, if you have questions, uh, as you saw, you can still make a lot of money. The, the trading is still there. It just got cost insane amount of money i lied about the part ending the video because i need one more thing this is my trade center my trades main trade center look at the prices i have to pay if i want to open a new for example that's most expensive Twenty-three thousand. i need to pay to open a road if i do that all these numbers just go up big time why because yes this is my trading my main city i have opened a lot of now if I in retrospect no no would not do that again just how crazy insanely uh, exponentially those prices go up all right that's it I'm shutting up 
and as you can see it's still pretty good pretty successful a little bit challenging but can be done all right guys let's wait for for more updates this game i'd say patch two three then it's worth coming back currently there is no change from the original just the same things a little bit tweaked around there's too much things absolutely not there policies all of them are shit like almost no worth taking only when you have both the, this food and, and fruits uh, this whatever this is these developments that we need more we need more we need way freaking more especially when we just received new cosmetics how about give me this what the hell is this give me expertise or something i don't need this guy to look funny i need to, this guy operate all right i'm just mad i need another game yes another game let's jump to some something else thanks for watching we'll meet in other videos bye